This is the Empire Sports. You know what? <clears throat> Keys to the game that what happened was, you know, we didn't execute. Offensive line was terrible. I mean, Jimmy Garoppolo, man, like, there's just that game. He just doesn't show up, and it's like, I don't know, man. But at the same time, we're going to hear this Nick Mullins train now since he had a spectacular game off the bench. That's the big problem right there is we're going to have some quarterback controversial. And I don't think it's going to be much of a controversial because I just think that Jimmy got hurt. And then Nick Mullins came off the bench and looked spectacular. But at the same time, you don't really expect quarterback change automatically like that. I mean, if you're coming off the bench, defense is already, they already got the lead. So if the game was out of reach, what were we supposed to do, you know? I mean, the defense was being conservative and smart on their situation. So Nick Mullins got over 238 yards passing. Two touchdowns, no interceptions. It's kind of like the same crap again. But the reason why we lost was because our defense didn't quite produce good. They gave, they let Russell Wilson fucking throw the ball. Metcalf became a huge factor. So you can't just point fingers at the quarterback position when you have an offensive line problem. And. Outside of that, you don't have no other playmaker. I mean, you got Ayuk stand, standing out. Kendrick Bourne finally showed some signs, but that was through garbage time. I mean, he had 81 yards receiving. Ayuk seems to be exactly what we hoped for. Maybe better than Debo, but the running game just wasn't quite a non... It was non-existent because we didn't run the ball as much. Jamichael Hesty, I would have thought maybe he would have been a factor, but... He got one touchdown and 29 yards rushing. I mean, that's the lowest yards per carry that he got this season. I would have thought we would have got a spark with it, but it didn't turn out exactly how we wanted. I mean, then you had Dante Pettis, man. He fumbled the ball and then got hurt. A lot of stuff went wrong. So it's like a lot of mental errors. Kyle Shanahan needs to... Needs to start being more sticking to the running game a little more, build play action. But instead, they just he just keeps being freaking cute and stubborn about plays. You know, he needs to stick with what actually got us some wins instead of just like changing it up a little. Stop being cute. You need to be more aggressive and actually do some good plays, not some crappy ass misdirection kind of plays or some fucking like flea flicker shit. Those type of trickeries. You know, you don't want to do no trickery shit. You're not fooling the Seattle defense. So that's the problem. So, yeah, overall, the performance, ah, uh, man. I got to give it a D. Terrible. Receivers, I give them a solid B. They did produce, but they didn't do enough. Quarterback play, man, I give it a C minus. Not as good. It wasn't all that. Running back play. I give it a C minus. It just wasn't quite cutting it. Defense, you giving up 37 points, and you didn't even freaking cover Metcalf, and you let it be. I gotta give it a freaking F, man. It's terrible, man. I mean, how can you not cover this guy? How can you let this guy beat you? And then letting these running plays happen? Like, come on, guys. That is terrible. So that's that's my opinion, man. Like, it's not a great, it's not a good grade. That's all I can say. I mean, that's just the only one that's more of a bright spot is the receivers. That's it. Everything else just seems suspect. But this is the Empire Sports and Go Niners.